I'm gonna cook this chuck roll on this grill. Do you believe me? Well, not exactly. I'm gonna cut off a chuck eye steak from this and grill it up on my brand new Barbecue Kings grill. If you don't know, I'll show you exactly where the chuck eye steak is, what it looks like, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. So right here, we got the chuck roll. This end here is what meets the ribeye. So this first little slice is gonna be almost as good as your ribeye. It's gonna be just as good a flavor, but maybe not quite as tender. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a small slice off the end, just to square it up. So now we're gonna cut a nice thick steak, and that's what we're gonna be grilling today. Right there, there's your chuck eye steak. In fact, we're gonna peel this part off the outside, because that's not your chuck eye. Right there's our chuck eye steak. Looks a lot like a ribeye to me. There's a couple other great cuts in here as well. There's also a Denver, which is one of my favorite cuts to save out of a chuck roll. The rest of this, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up and use for hamburger. I decided to go ahead and pull out a Denver steak for you to look at. Look at that marbling. Think maybe we'll cook up one of each. See which one we like better. Just gotta trim off a little silver skin. I'll trim off both the edges. And we're just gonna go with that center section. This is all great, but like I said, I'm making hamburger, so I'm not worried about cutting some off. Should be a nice little steak right there. I only paid $4.99 for this whole chuck roll. We're gonna get some nice steaks and the best hamburger you ever had. Take a little time, process your meat yourself, and you can save a lot of money. We'll be testing out new seasoning today. This is from Lane's. Just going with the SPG, because when it comes to steak, I like to keep it pretty simple. I like to let the meat and the fire do most of the seasoning. Go ahead and sprinkle this on. Nice coarse cracked pepper and garlic. Flip these around, get both sides. Now that these steaks are seasoned, let me tell you a little bit more about the grill before we start cooking. I just wanna show you a few features of this Barbecue Kings grill. First of all, let's start with this inner piece, the charcoal basket or fire pot or whatever you wanna call this. This is made out of incredibly thick stainless steel. You can see it's got a lot of holes. This is for maximum airflow to make sure you're getting a clean cook and a hot fire. The outer box also has got plenty of holes in it to ensure good airflow. When as far as cooking grates go, you've got two options with this grill and they're both included. You've got this Argentinian style one, which, which we're gonna use today because I've never cooked on Argentinian grill, so why not test that out? Also, you've got your conventional grill grates. Another thought I have for this grill is to put skewers on it and use it like a yakitori grill. You let me know down in the comments which type of grill grate you'd be using. Next, we gotta fire this up. Of course, we're gonna be using some Jealous Devil charcoal. I'll bring you in, I'm gonna show you how we get this Jealous Devil charcoal going for this grill. There is a maximum fill line here, it's about a third up from the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the briquettes in so we know how much we need before we get the fire starter going. Of course, we're burning Jealous Devil max briquettes. These got no chemical additives, they're all natural. They burn clean and they're two and a half times the size of ordinary briquettes. I ended up going just below that max fill line because this looks like actually a lot of charcoal. Jealous Devil Boom Fire Starters. Another all natural product, just like everything Jealous Devil makes. Okay, so we made a little well right here in the middle. We're gonna go ahead and put our Boom Fire Starter in there. It's gonna light up with a little propane torch here. Let this flame up. These boom fire starters make a flame up to one foot tall. So once that gets going good, we'll pile all the charcoal on top and it's gonna light up good. What do now is just carefully arrange the briquettes around this fire starter to get it going. Don't wanna smother it because it'll go out. 
A chimney starter would be ideal, which I have, but I'm just trying to experiment because this is a portable grill. If you don't have to bring a chimney starter with you, all the better. So I'll let this burn for a little while and we'll check back. Okay, it's been burning for a couple minutes. Let's go ahead and check in on it. Another 10 minutes, I should be ready to cook. Okay, these Jealous Devil Max briquettes are not quite ready to cook on yet. You can see they're starting to ash over pretty good. What I did was I slowly piled them on top to get them all burning. I would definitely recommend using a chimney, but if you don't have one or you're traveling, this will work just fine as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna spread these out. We're gonna let them finish lighting while I put the grill grate on top because I wanna give everything plenty of time to heat up before I start cooking. With any new grill, you wanna make sure you burn it in good and get rid of any chemical residue from the manufacturing process. Just make sure you space out your briquettes so you get even heat across the whole grill. All right, feels nice and hot. Gonna go ahead and go on with this Argentinian style grill grate. Here are those chuck steaks. Almost ready to go on this Barbecue Kings grill. Let's take a look at it. So you can see that charcoal, it's almost all white. That means we're about ready to start cooking. It's gonna wipe down these grill grates and then we'll get the meat on. Just got a terry cloth towel. I'm just gonna wipe these off quick. Just wanna make sure that any residue from the manufacturing process is gone. To oil up these grill grates, you wanna use some kind of soybean oil spray. You do whatever you want, but for me, it's animal fat. So I just happened to have some grease in the pan from some sausage that I cooked. So I just wiped it with this towel. And we'll just take this towel, wipe it over the grates. Remember, animal fats are king. Okay, we'll put the chuck eyes on this side for now. And the Denver's over here. Whenever you're cooking over something like this, the key to getting an even cook on a cook like this is to keep these steaks moving. Been going for a few minutes or so out here. If you could smell this beef fat sizzling, oh my God. Let's go ahead and give these a flip and see what we got. Ooh, hot. Probably should be using tongs or some cotton liners, but we're gonna roll with it for now. Look at that, wow. Look at these grill marks. Look at that. The smell out here though, it's just that beautiful, rich, beefy flavor. Oh man, I'm gonna give these a little press just to get some nice grill marks on them. Not squeezing the juice out, just a gentle press. And tell you what, these little edge bits, we're gonna be stealing some little Pitmaster Privilege snacks. Oh my God. Mm. I learned my lesson from last time. I went inside and got my lamps and tongs. Give these steaks a flip again, and we'll see how we're going. This time, we're gonna put them the other direction. How's that look? Just been moving these around. This thicker Denver steak, I've been cooking it on the edges. I mean, look at that, how good does that look? I think this one in the middle is gonna be just about done. A Thermo Maven Turbo F1. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna get one for yourself. This is a super affordable instant read thermometer. 108, 107. So this one's done enough for me, 115. That's worry about where I like my beef. Let's check the other ones. 120. Okay, so these are done. Let me go grab my cutting board. You know we had to put some butter on the cutting board because butter makes everything better. Look at that. Man, I can't wait to try these. They smell so good. Let's go ahead and slice into these steaks and see how we did. Can you see the juice before I even cut into this? Oh my God. 
Look at that. That is a perfectly rare steak. Let's take a bite here. See how we did. Feels tender. Looks like a ribeye. Time for the taste test. Hope you can see this. Oh my God. If you can get a good chuck eye steak, this is going to be even better than a ribeye. Even beefier. It's just as tender. I mean, come on. Can you see the juice coming out of this? Incredible. We know the steak's good. Now let's talk about this Barbecue King's Grill. Very impressed with this. It's got an incredible build quality. It actually, to be honest with you, it exceeded my expectations. This heavy duty stainless steel insert impressed me. I've never cooked on Argentinian style grill grates. I was very happy with that. Everything about this was a great experience. Make sure you follow the instructions and put it on a fireproof surface. It does get hot. I don't know if it would melt plastic, but I would not recommend putting this on anything that you could damage. I would say if you put another trivet underneath it and then your cables would probably be safe if they were not something you didn't care about getting overly heated up. That's it for this video. Make sure you head to Instagram, at Rusty BBQ Lamb. Give me a follow over there. If you haven't already, like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below what you thought of this cook, what you think of this grill. Also, I got discount code for this grill. I'll leave that down in the description. Really impressed with this grill. If you want something just fun to hang out with, travel with, this is the grill for you. You got to check out this Barbecue Kings portable grill. Until next time. I did eat all that steak. My six-year-old boy helped me eat some of it, but probably only about a quarter. Ate the rest of that by myself. It was so good, I just couldn't stop. But back over to this Barbecue Kings grill. I've been done cooking for about 20 minutes. This grill is still just as hot as when I took those steaks off. This charcoal in this is going to last for a long time. So if you're having a party, you're cooking for a lot of people, You'll be able to cook several batches of steak on this without running out of fuel, especially if you're burning the best. Jealous Devil, Max Briquettes.